you know, we want to be really Kentucky centric with the beers that we bring in for Hoptoberfest. We want yeah. all those to be You're using them big words again. Well, we want it to be as local Kentucky as possible. You know, we centric. want people to experience some of this beer being this made in the guy. state that they live in. But like, so is, is IPA and craft beer the same thing? Sure, IPA is just a style of beer. IPA stands for India Pale Ale. I had no uh, idea. Yeah, so oh. it's just a style of beer. Just like a lager or a uh, Hefeweizen, which we you were talking about. You don't have to call about. me that name, Wes. It's just a style of beer. <laughs> Told you I'm working wait, on it, man. Don't be calling me a Hefeweizen. It, it, in, wait, you say Indian Pell? India Pell L. India Pell yeah. L. So you've got India Pell L's, and then you've got regular just Pell L's. See and IPA is kind of what you were talking about. Uh, you know, the flavor profile. And there's so many different ones, it's hard to nail it down and say, this is what an IPA tastes like. You worry about that, and he's calling you Hefemeister. I don't know what's happening. Hefemeister. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what's happening. Hey, he, he was saying some stuff earlier, man. I don't, I don't even know how to spell he half what he's like, saying. He speaks like, literally, he speaks like another language, but it's like, it's like, man, you're a smooth what, talker. Well, but what are like, like what's no. some of like the key differences between like IPAs and craft beers versus just. The regular beer that you get at any bar or Walmart, like what? Bud Light, Budweiser, yada, yada, yada. Uh, there's a lot. I mean, obviously, you know, the big thing that jumps out to just the common person, I think, is the, the alcohol by volume, ABV, is typically a lot higher on an IPA. And, and it's just the process in which the beer's made, the style of hops. There's a bunch of different types of hops that go in and grains that go into making these beers so it really just hmm. it, it's it's super complex i mean it's not something i can just say here's the difference it's obviously yeah. the way that things taste are you basic you know? or are you hoppy uh, a lot of people do like ipas but I, i'm the type of person i you know i can have one ipa i think they sit a little bit heavy I, i'm more of a fan of you know other styles of beer but i'm um, more of a cider guy typically I ipas yeah, yeah mm-hmm. i'm a big cider guy that's yeah. what i was telling him earlier ipas can typically be like we were talking about earlier a little bit bitter some of them have a little bit of a citrusy kind of flavor to them so it just depends on the ipa none of them are the same i mean they're all very different yeah, and it's that, it's complex. I get it. Yeah, and that's why like it's just like really blew my mind of going into the process because I, I love to try new beers and stuff like that. But whenever it comes to IPAs, you, you, like, and, I, and I know they have to be a little bit more expensive because of the process, and I totally get that. But it's hard to pay that much money for something that like you're it's it's hard to understand even what you're reading on sure. the bottle, and that's why an event like Hoptoberfest yeah. is so great to me because you get to actually try and figure it out for yourself at a much lower cost than mm-hmm. going to the store, going to a bar and just going in there blind all yeah. willy nilly. And also, you're getting to talk to the people that crafted yeah. mm-hmm. the product as well. You're not just talking to some cashier that, that's, right. that they're just there working. You're actually getting to learn about the process We're and learn more about year. it. Aren't we? Aren't we, the, aren't we the... Aren't we working the... October yes. yeah, of yeah course. we're the we're the ones pouring, right? Yeah, our staff will pour, but we also have representatives yeah. from whatever breweries we bring in. Yeah. Uh, tell you all about it. Yeah, we're yeah. going to have 50 different styles of beer. Um, Did you hear that, folks? 50. And last year, I think lot. we had around 80 or 90, which was a, a few too many. I mean, it was hard to go around and taste everything when you have 90 different beers. Yeah. Um, but uh, from last year, I think, you know, we probably had 25 ciders. Uh, I'm sure mm. there'll be 10, 15, ciders. 20 different ciders and and different types of uh, beer that are similar to ciders because a lot of times these days you see fruit L's and fruit infused lagers and, and different stuff like that. So it's not always just ciders, but we'll have, you know, tons of that stuff. Yeah. And the people, representatives from the brewery who can, you know, talk about you know, each different style and, you know, let you taste some of the stuff. What are ticket prices going to be like for Hoptoberfest so this year? For 10 tickets, it's $30, 10 sampling tickets. So that's the that's the only price. Yeah. We're only doing one price. But what's really cool about it is we're going to have food as well. And, you know, shout out to, of course, Double Quick. You're all a big Double Quick fan. We oh, yeah. are. Well, Double Quick. They're, they're presenting that for us, and they're going to have their food truck with pizza rolls and chicken to nice. be able to sell too, so nice. they they got it covered on the food side, and we got it covered on the drink side. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I mean you gotta eat something to sober up a little uh, bit. Yeah, but sure. can, but can you buy? I mean, like it's I, I don't know if anybody's going to go through all ten tickets, but let's say that somebody does have a tolerance 
Mm-hmm. And can go through ten. There'll tickets. be a price for for yeah, extra tickets. You can buy yeah. extra okay. tickets, and, and you, when you're talking, you're talking about getting a sampling glass, so you're not getting a pint glass yeah. to walk around with. So you know, ten what four ounce samples is a little different than drinking ten full pint beers. Yeah, so. yeah. You're yeah. not going to feel as wobbly. But it's a great way to spend a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. October Fest is a blast. We had the year, obviously, couldn't do it last year because of COVID. Yeah. The year before that, the weather was perfect. Yeah. It was a great time. This is going to be perfect. It's, it's a blast. It really is. Yeah, that's why I love, well, I, the name Hoptober Fest. I know that's why y'all do it in October, but I love that y'all do it then because it's not hot. It's not mm-hmm. cold. It's the perfect time of no, year. Yeah. yeah. 